Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about a test to test whether a time series is uh, stationary or not. And I'm going to talk about uh, one test in particular in this video, which is called Augmented Dickey Fuller Test. Now, this test is a little bit different than the Dickey Fuller Test, and uh, I'm going to explain you the augmented one here. And the way this test works is we regress uh, yt prime. Now, this is the different series, which is yt minus yt minus one. And we regress this uh, on uh, a constant, a time trend plus phi for our original series in the lag, yt minus 1. And then we include a bunch of lags of uh, this different series, yt minus 1 up to k lags of uh, the different series. It's k prime. And obviously we include uh, an error term here as well. Now we test for this phi. And uh, if uh, this phi parameter is equal to zero, then it implies that uh, our series is uh, non-stationary and we need to difference our series to make uh, this series uh, stationary. On the other hand, if uh, our estimated phi is uh, less than zero, we conclude that our series is uh, stationary and uh, we don't need any difference here. Now, the way this test works is we compare H0, the null hypothesis that uh, the phi is equal to 0, that is our series is uh, non-stationary. This is our null hypothesis in this case. We compare this value with the Dickey Fuller statistic to see if uh, we reject this null hypothesis or we fail to reject uh, this null hypothesis. If we get a p-value which is very large, we conclude that we fail to reject the null hypothesis of a non-stationarity. On the other hand, if p-value is small, we reject H0 and conclude that our series is uh, stationary. So this is how we use this augmented Dickey Fuller test and test for this uh, phi. I'm going to show you how to run all these commands in R using an automated function so that you don't have to worry about uh, running this regression but obviously at the back of uh, that uh, function r will be using uh, this uh, formulation to regress and uh, test whether this phi is uh, equal to zero or it is uh, less than zero and a value of phi less than zero means uh, the series is converging which means uh, there is no unit root in this uh, series that is this series is uh, stationary Okay, to run the Dickey Fuller test in R, we need this uh, library TS series. I'm going to use augmented Dickey Fuller test and I'm going to uh, first generate uh, 1000 random numbers. And we know that uh, random numbers by definition have no unit root uh, in them. That is, uh, random numbers are stationary. So let's uh, use this uh, function ADF test and pass our data set to this ADF uh, test function and look at the p value. So see here the p-value is 0.01 which is a very small p-value which implies that uh, we reject the null hypothesis and remember our null hypothesis in this case is that uh, this series is uh, non-stationary. So this implies that uh, we are rejecting the null hypothesis and concluding that uh, this series is uh, stationary and contains uh, no unit root in it. Now let's uh, work with another example and uh, take the inverse of uh, the Y series that we created earlier and look at uh, the p-value. Now in this case, uh, we are getting a very large value, which means uh, we fail to reject our null hypothesis of uh, non-stationarity, which means this series contain a unit root in it, that is this series is uh, non-stationary and uh, it requires uh, differencing uh, to make uh, this uh, series stationary which means uh, we cannot apply a rima model on this type of the series first we have to make sure that this series is stationary before applying uh, a rima model so this is the way of applying uh, augmented dickey fuller test on uh, any time series uh, to test for the stationarity of the series a small p value implies the rejection of the null hypothesis which means our series is stationary and a large p value means uh, that we fail to reject the null hypothesis and uh, the series is non-stationary and uh, we must uh, take uh, the difference of the series to make uh, this series stationary. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.